Late Game Reviewer and welcome to my channel. Today I've got a really special episode. I don't usually do those kind of episodes, which means I play with my computer and show you the settings. But in with Windows 10, I really have to do it because I personally believe that Windows 10, well, Microsoft did really fucked up in this one. In terms of the lack of control to the user. So if you have an enterprise uh, like edition, it shouldn't be a problem. But regarding the... I would say the privacy settings and the privacy issues, the spying that Microsoft is doing. I feel like Windows 10 is a big marketing, uh, big ad, advertisement uh, system platform, which I do not like. Windows 8 was shit, but come on guys, just a little bit of more control with the privacy settings would be really big, well, would be really better. So. Do you want Microsoft to spy on you, or would you allow anyone to spy on you? Any sane person would say no, of course not, so let me go straight ahead and help you with that. So you go and start the little button on the bottom that we all lost on Windows 8. You go in Settings, right here, then you go in Updates and Security. In there, there's a couple of things. Um, Let's go in the Windows Update, and then you click on the Advanced Options. Yes, it's really far away, which is another problem that Microsoft has with their Windows. Uh, unfortunately, it shows how updates are installed. It doesn't give me the option to say, you know what, I want to download them. Or just more options. Ask me to download, ask me to install, and vice versa, and yada yada yada. So, but perhaps with time, I'm just going to do a video on how I can find the setting. Second thing that most people have is give me updates for other Microsoft products when I update Windows. I turn it off, I don't need it. Um, and for any one of you who are, I don't know, I would say don't trust or believe uh, Microsoft or just you're hesitating to do upgrades, click on defer upgrades. What it usually means is that when you make an update, you're going to receive the update about a couple of months after it's released, so you're not going to get it as soon as it's out. And then we go into privacy settings. That's the first thing. Uh, the first one will be in general. It says to change privacy options here. Let apps use my advertising ID for experience. No, turn, turn everything off. I didn't turn that off. Uh, yeah, if, if you're wondering how why this grayed out, I'm going to tell you later. That's going to be a really cool thing. Then you go in location. Just look at it. Smart smart screen filter, you don't need that. Uh, same thing with the Microsoft info on how to... Wow, this is really hard to read. On how I write to help us improve typing and writing in the future. No. Let websites provide locally relevant content by accessing my language list. Hell no. That's a door open. I don't want it. Second thing, locations. Why on earth would you want to know my location? I don't want to. I'm a gamer, got a desktop, I don't need it. On a laptop perhaps, but you know what, I turn it off. Even on a laptop, I would turn it off. And if you want to be sure, just click the location, uh, uh, well, the history. Camera, and that's off, of course. Microphone, I don't know why it was on, but it's supposed to be off. Speech, inking, and typing, it's off. If I click on it, it says turn on, no. Turn it off as well. You don't need them. That goes, this one, speech, inking, and typing, it goes with Cortana. So if you turn it off, I don't know why Cortana needs your info, and besides it uses Bing, so it's, I don't like it. So I, I'm just going to turn it off. Uh, same thing with account info, which, why would you do that? Why would you need my name, my picture, or other account information? It's just another door open for everything. Contacts. That's up to you if you want to. If you're, if you want contacts to uh, get, a, if you want your mail or your Windows Shell experience or your app connector to uh, look at your contacts, go ahead. Same thing with calendar. There's a couple of things like mail and calendar, which is really obvious. But if you don't want to or don't need it to, I don't know if these settings are on, but I'm leaving them on right now. I'm gonna. I want more details on, uh, on that little part, but like, what's the exact, I would say, uh, consequences if I turn it off? I'm not turning off right now, but I intend to. Messaging, same thing, I'm not really sure. Radio, 
yeah, whatever. Other devices, now, all of this, like contacts, calendar, messaging, messaging, and radio, it's all on standby for me, but you can turn it off if you wish. There's no really big consequences, but I'm a guy who just wants to know a bit more detail. Other devices, sync with devices. Why would you use your computer as a beacon? <laughs> turn it off. I have a camera, turn it off as well. It's working right now and it's turned off right now because I don't want my trusted devices to use it. I will do it manually if I need to. Same thing with uh, SPD, i5, whatever this is. Ah, oh. <laughs> man, a lot of problems with the privacy settings. Feedback and diagnostic. Uh, never ask me, I don't want to, I'm not that kind of guy. Diagnostic and usage data. That's turned off, and how did I do that? Because if you don't have an Enterprise Edition, you can't do that. I don't have an Enterprise Edition, and I did turn it off. So, let's go on uh, Google here, Google Chrome. Got a website for you with all the relevant data. How to disable telemetry and data collection in Windows 10. This is the biggest thing that I know that I, I don't know why it's turned on. So if you go down the page, well, it gives you a whole explanation. You got the registry keys to do that, and you know what? Let's let's make this a little bit more simple with those three commands over here. The first two ones are making the telemetry disable. The the, the well, the third one blocks the telemetry because I don't trust Microsoft. So how do I do that? Or how does it do that? Tells you right there. Let's look for PowerShell. It's right there. Right click, run as admin. You need to run as admin because it's just not gonna work if you don't do that. All you gotta do by this point, just gotta do a copy uh, right there. I just right click on my mouse, press enter. Same thing with the second one. Oops, got it wrong. Disabled. And the third one just blocks it. It's just a rigid. I'm not gonna do it because I already did it. Uh, but it just well, you know what? Fuck it. Let's go. Yeah, operated. The operation completed successfully. This will just block everything. It says it says here allow telemetry uh, rig D word zero. Whoa, allow tele telemetry. No, 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 don't allow. Hold on a minute. Reg D word zero wall slash D slash F, slash F. You can find out what that means, but. Uh, in computer language, reg D word zero means off, usually. So it's blocked. It doesn't work. It's never gonna block. It's never gonna work. That's the first thing. Second thing is the Windows update. I don't know why, but for some reason, uh, your Windows 10 will make the updates use the peer-to-peer the -peer protocol or whatever is in your computer work as a peer-to-peer -peer, uh, protocol like torrent for example I don't know why just turn it off you don't need it and you don't want that especially if you because it uses your bandwidth it doesn't affect me but it's still turned off because you know security issues and second of all people who have who are paying for a limited data cap or limited bandwidth for example, uh, you pay $50 for, I don't know, 10, 15 megs a month. Uh, well, 15 megs download and 10 megs upload, and you got a data cap of 50 gigs. This will bust it, I'm pretty sure. Uh, well, probably not, but just to be safe, turn it off, because it will use it. I'm not sure if it's going to use a lot. It shouldn't be, because I don't know there's any upgrades that are like a 1 gig or something. But it can go up pretty fast. Torrents can do that. And it, it can bring you a really high bill. So turn it off. You don't need it. And that's all for the privacy settings and the, well, the spying on Windows 10 on you. And the weird torrent, integrated torrent kind of settings inside Windows 10. Now, if you want to know other things, other kind of settings inside the uh, Windows 10, uh, by all means, ask me in the comment or just send me a message or something. I'm going to look at it, and if I, if I find it worthy, I'm going to make a video of it, because I believe that those kind of settings, like, they should, like, everyone should do it. If you did like the video, just share, please. 
I think this one needs to be shared a lot. So, like game reviewer, and see you later.